So we got some new footage of a greatsword hunter taking on an Agnosum. There's a few things that I took away from it, good and bad, that seem to stand out a little bit. The wire bug looks much more polished and smooth. This is my take from all angles with the wire bug. Whether we're talking about it in combat or we're talking about exploration, it looked much better than the first demo, which is a great sign of progress. There didn't seem to be any kind of hiccups on the landings and I didn't notice any kind of accidental misdirection with the wire bug like there was in the demo as well. The mobility you gain from the wire bug looks really enticing, especially for less mobile weapons like the greatsword. We also learned of a quick move, it seems that you can universally use, no matter your weapon of choice, that can be used to evade while simultaneously increasing your attack for a short duration. All in all, I was a little cautious of the wire bug with the demo, but I can definitely say I feel much more confident after this showcase. The camera system is old school. Now, on a personal note, this is not a great sign for me. If you followed the channel for a while, you know as a quadriplegic, I don't have any use of my fingers, so the lock-on camera of World slash Iceborne was perfect for me. From this showcase, it looked like the hunter was panning the camera themselves as they were moving around, rather than the camera moving with them. Now, this probably won't be a big deal to 99% of the player base, so take this with a grain of salt. I'm hoping there may be settings you can mess with to make it more lock-on-esque, but if not, we'll work with what we got. The greatsword looks very fun. I have to say, honestly, that the greatsword is one of my lesser played weapons. Don't get me wrong, I still definitely enjoy it and even love it, which you can check out why I love it in my Why I Love Greatsword video. But with the wire bug mobility and moves included, you can really have some fun with the greatsword. The helmbreaker like move looked especially awesome to me, and it can even be charged up like your true charge slash. You still have all that power that the greatsword boasts while supplementing what you could consider its weakness in the wire bug mobility. We didn't get a whole lot of new greatsword specific info or details, but it sounds like it will be in a good spot when Rise comes around. You still see a lot of the favorite moves from Iceborne World like the tackle and honestly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There seems to be a lot of pre-prep for hunts. It seems like there's a bit of stuff to do prior to actually going on the hunt for the monster. It looks as if you're going to need to gather endemic life to bolster your health and stamina. Not only that, but you can expand your wire bug pool as well by finding them in the environment. There is also endemic life that will power up your attack, etc. I hope it's going to be more of a min-maxing thing rather than an absolute necessity. I love being able to jump into a hunt and just go for it. Maybe I'm spoiled from work World, and all you veteran hunters can rip me in the comments for being a brat. It seems like the Palamutes are going to be taking over. I was a tad bit surprised that in the showcase they used two Palamutes instead of one and a Palico. Now, as far as the community goes, I pretty much expect that this is going to be the case. They're battle ready and jump right into it, and from the combat footage, they're continuously harassing the monster. They use the same equipment that we've seen before, the blades that set in their mouth. You can see they're spinning in the air, flying through and by the monster throughout the entire showcase. It's kind of seeming like the Palamutes might be the DPS choice if you just want to pick them and do some straight up damage, and then maybe the Palicos will be more for strategic things, you know, like the Orchestra equipment or the Vigor Wasp spray, the things that have effects outside of just doing damage. It wasn't a super long showcase by any means, but I feel like it definitely showed a more polished and well-rounded game than we saw before. I was excited then, and I'm even more so now. Let's just hope that we get some some semblance of hunting horn combat soon, rather than just this little bit. But that's going to be it for this one. I'm ready for this game to drop and each bit of info makes me that much more prepared to shut out the entire world when it comes out. If you liked the video, feel free to help me out by hitting that thumbs up. Discord and Patreon links are in the description below, so feel free to join the Discord server and chat about Rise with other hunters. Comment down below what you think of the great sword footage and your thoughts on Rise in general right now. Subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already for more Monster Hunter and gaming content, streams, reviews, and more. Dudes forever, have a good night, and happy hunting.